Do you know the difference between DDL, DML and DCL commands in SQL? All the SQL commands are classified into three categories based on their function. First category is DDL command. DDL stands for Data Definition Language. As the name suggests, these are the commands used to define or modify the structure of our database. For example, create command is used to create the table. Alter command is used to modify the structure of the table. And drop command is used to delete the table. So all these commands are used to define or modify the structure of our database. That's why they are called as data definition language command. Next category is DML commands. DML stands for data manipulation language. As the name suggests, these are the commands which are used to manipulate data inside our table. For example, select command is used to access data in a table. Insert command is used to add data to the table. And delete command is used to remove row from the table. So all the commands that are used to manipulate the data inside the table falls under DML category. The last category is DCL commands. DCL stands for data control language. As the name suggests, these commands are used to control access to the data in database. These commands also manage who can access and manipulate the data and structure within the table. For example, grant command is used to give permission to the user to perform actions like select or insert on the database. On other hand, revoke commands withdraw the access privilege or permissions given by the grant command. So let's summarize this video. Commands in SQL are mainly classified into three categories. All commands which are used for creating or modifying the structure are called as DDL command. All commands which are used for manipulating the data inside table is called as DML commands and all the commands which are used to control access of a data is called as DCL command. That's it for today's video. Follow my channel for more such videos.